Hey, welcome back, Sweden, to your Career by Data Science channel. Today is, well, what is today? Today is uh, Wednesday, September the 15th, 2021. First of all, first of all, a big shout out to the 23 people who watch this. Uh, that's not right. Uh, 33. I can't count, can I? 33 people who watch this video today, and a special shout out to the 26 young people who watch the video so much. But you know what? 30. I really, what I really like to see with these 33 likes is 33 views is 33 likes and 33 shares. So click that like button, click that subscribe button, click on the share button, share this video with your friends and your family on Facebook and Twitter. You can also share it in emails and text messages, okay? Okay, now let's, let's get on with the show. We also need to remind ourselves that for some reason, back in the middle of summer, Sweden decided to stop. Sweden, meaning the Swedish government, decided to stop counting COVID-19 cases and deaths seven days a week, but instead went to a four-day week, Tuesday to Friday. And what they're doing is they're adding those missing days, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, onto Tuesday's numbers, which is producing an artificial spike. Uh, I don't understand what changed in the middle of summer that he had to, to cause this problem, okay? But it's, to me, it's just a little dubious. The other thing we want to keep in mind is, is about the vaccines themselves. Uh, the vaccine, for instance, in the U.S. will not keep me from getting COVID-19. It may reduce the severity of the disease, and by reducing the severity of the disease, it may reduce my chance of dying because I'm in a higher risk group. I'm 67, okay? But the point is this. Should you get vaccinated? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, particularly if you're over the age of 65. Okay. The question is this, but if it will not keep us from getting COVID-19, the question it becomes how many, of these, how many of these cases are being reported? Okay. So, how many of these cases here were vaccinated? Well, interesting is not these spikes here. These are the Tuesday numbers. We're interested in this blue line. And what we see back over here, we see this declining pattern in cases, followed by an increase now, last since July of cases. This is just a, this is just a 28-day moving average. It means if we, each bar represents the average number of cases for the previous 28 days. So on, on August 31st, you were averaging 1,010 cases per day for a 28-day period. Here you go with your deaths again. Um, so you can see you can see a declining pattern in 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 uh, in, in, in uh, deaths here. This is the best news. Although if you look carefully. You do see a slight increase back over here, but you, but your deaths, my, my friends, are still this crazy low. Okay, that's the only way to describe it. It's just crazy low. I mean, I don't know what you're doing in Sweden, but you should bottle it and sell it, and, you know, and sell it around the world. Because you can see, uh, as of uh, for the 20-day period in the August 31st, you were averaging 2.05 deaths per day. Now, if we look at the weekly numbers, weekly cases, you can see, uh, you can see this weekly increase here. Maybe this week, this is either this week or last week, so it's hard to say. Definitely increasing cases, okay? But how many, but look at where you're at from where you came. Look where you came from back over here. So, yeah, you got some cases here. 8,000 per day, 8,000 per week maybe, but you know what? Your numbers are still crazy low. What about uh, monthly cases? So we can see, like I say, your cases are still real very low. From the previous four months, your cases have been very low. And your deaths, it's been crazy. It's been just crazy. Although it looks like this current month may catch, certainly catch the August month that remains to be seen. But hopefully we're not going to see a major trend back up here, okay? So, Sweden, that does conclude your report for today. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, uh, again, first a big shout out to the uh, 33 people who watched the video in the last 24 hours. And special thanks to the uh, 26 young people who, sh who watched the video. But I do have a, my favorite, of course, as a reminder, subscribe, click the like button, and share the video, okay? Thanks so much for your time, Sweden. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.